Hi folks, Rich Pacine from RGPacine.com. I'm coming to you today to do a little brief video, an intro video on an item I'm selling. It's the Grand Reserve Bottle Opener. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you really quick about it and just tell you a little about it. Um, this item is roughly 24 inches in height. It is believed to be cast iron and it's got a steel angle line mount here base for it, you know, where the unit itself mounts on and the bottom of the base. It is a clean unit, as you can see, it's very clean. I don't know if this thing was even used, okay? But uh, you can see on the side of it, it's got engravings along the side here on all four corners, very nice piece. It goes on your countertop, okay? And it is really solid and heavy. It's about, this thing weighs out of the box, uh, unless my scale is wrong, about 15, 16 pounds around that range there. It's, it's kind of heavy, um, but it's made well. And um, the thing is with this here, um, I was saying with this here, I was thinking about it, you know, the unit is 24 inches in height between from the bottom of the base to the top. But if you were to get a bottle in there, or to, now I don't know how big bottles, I know big bottle champagne bottles and stuff like that could be really told in this here. I think the biggest bottle you could probably fit in here, folks, would be about 14 inches from bottom, from the base up to the ins insert here where this would where you would clamp it um, the opening is about one inch uh, when it's closed I should say when it's closed it's about one inch and opens about an inch and a half uh, I did the measurements earlier the base itself the bottom base in case you're wondering if you need to know like the size of this in case you want to put it on your counter or your kitchen um, it's roughly the base from bottom to bottom from white the widest part is about 11 inches in length and roughly it is about six and a half inches in width so that's the base um it's got a mahogany finish on it i don't know if it's real wood or pressed wood uh looking at the back of it it could be unless it's an overlay uh it could be pressed wood with a lack of finish on it mahogany it looks really nice though it's really shiny as you can see okay look at that it's really a nice it's a it's a very nice piece and again this would go on your countertop you see it's very glossy and it is heavy i mean holding it up like this here i mean if you had to hold this thing for about 20 minutes you did your arms would feel it but it is nice it's a, a nice piece of uh you know it, it's an, a compliment the nice kitchen countertop i'll tell you that or it'd be a nice conversational piece you know um this here is angle line it's very thick i mean you couldn't bend this thing if you need if you wanted to i mean it, it's really a strong piece of metal this however comes off okay now the purpose of it coming off um, I, it might have been for shipping purposes. I don't know if you have a bigger bottle. Let's say a bottle that's bigger than 14 inches from the base to the top where this mounts. Um, you might be able to. I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't experiment with. I don't have. I don't. I'm not a wine drinker, or you know, I buy anything that has it's bottled liquor. I don't buy any of that stuff. Um, you might be able to just it'd be kind of heavy though. But you probably could maybe put this on top of the bottle clamp it and then just move it up and down you know and the way this function the way this thing works in a downward position okay in this position right now the nail or the uh, corkscrew uh piece is up and then when you turn it i don't know if you can see it folks when you turn it you see it coming out the bottom over there you see what happens the motion of it when you go up as you hit midpoint it screws in there it screws into the cork and then when you keep going to the downward position it goes back, it retracts. Now it's pulling the cork out. Okay. Um, it's a nice piece. It's got, again, this has all the engravings on it. You can see it for yourself. It's like a brass finish. Okay. It has a lot of nice feet, you know, a lot of uh, nice carvings on it. Okay. You can see that there. All right. And again, um, I don't know. I guess they make it so maybe that's probably for shipping purposes. So when you get this here, you would just connect it up here like this with the wing nut screw here. You just tighten it up and that ain't going anywhere. I mean, once that locks in, it's locked in. Seriously. Um, I guess they had to put it on a steel angle line like this here. So this thing here, it is heavy. Well, you know, heavy enough. Uh, I guess you, you could put it, use it on a, a thin piece of metal. It probably eventually, you know, warp it, teeter it, whatever. I don't know. But they did it like that for a reason. So, uh, but it is made well. Um, if you have any questions about this item, folks, please contact me at rjpassini at verizon.net. Uh, the shipping on this here, when I do the shipping, I might, I got to see, I might take this off itself, the, you know, this part here, uh, put, you know, padding around it, wrap it in cardboard, 
and I'll have to do something along that line there unless I leave it all together and my I got to see how I'm gonna work that out and uh, the bottom the base here I'll make sure it don't fall on my computer keyboard um, this will have padding on it with cardboard over it wrap the whole thing around because I don't want this to get damaged the reason why I'm thinking about I'm a little hesitant on shipping it uh, with this off is because I mean I'm not saying I'll package it right but I'm always afraid if something gets jostled in there you know if I do have it set off to take it off the base the mount here I'm afraid that something happens you know it gets moved it could hit the base and it can damage it I don't want to damage it you can see the base has a nice finish to it okay it's like a mahogany finish and uh, it's very it, it, if this was used or pre-owned uh, I don't think the person ever used it to be honest with you and, and I'm sure if you see it in person you'll probably agree with me uh, it doesn't look like it was ever used okay uh, very little there's little little to no wear on it I mean I don't see anything on it here that's really uh, of anything to be pointed out I do these videos folks to point out um, and this is the first time it comes to my YouTube channel or in this case the uh, eBay I do these videos to point out any particular flaws an item might have in it whether it be damaged chipped or you know maybe it's not it's a non-working product or item and uh, I do to see it to give the buyers a heads up uh, so, you know, you might see if you follow my channels, you'll probably see me do a lot of videos. Uh, I do it on electronics. I do it on luggage. I do it on basically anything and everything. Um, that's basically it. That's what I'm doing this video for is to give the uh, buyers a potential heads up. Uh, if you have any questions about this item, please don't hesitate to contact me at rjpacinaverizon.net. I'll try to answer any questions, you know, that pertain to this particular item. And, uh, that's basically it folks I, I you know I hope this helps and if you like my channel please subscribe let's have you a subscriber and if you like the information I provide with this video if you think it helps you out and you're making your buying decision or it's just helpful in general please give it a thumbs up but thank you again for stopping by and you have a great day talk to you soon thanks bye now